Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? We're going to be uh, starting in a few minutes. We do. Uh, we are so delighted uh, to have you all here this evening. And in fact, we had such a terrific response that we do have another room on the third floor where we are doing a live feed remotely for uh, those people. And, uh, and so we'll give a couple of minutes while people get up there. And perhaps while that is taking place, I might just do uh, a few introductions. Uh, first of all, for those of you who have not met me before, I'm Tennis Hansen, and I'm president of the Toronto General Western Hospital Foundation. The, uh, joining me this evening are a number of our directors uh, from the foundation, and I'll ask them just to put their hands up, and I'll start with Dr. Catherine Zahn, who is the Executive Vice President Clinical Programs for University Health Network. Uh, Dr. Michael Baker is Physician-in-Chief. Uh, David Smith, who is our Chair of the Board, will be speaking later. And Jim Janu, who is here, is a, also a Director of the Foundation. I think I've captured everybody. There's none of our Directors further up in the audience. So I think that probably is uh, given enough time for people to get upstairs. And I should also mention, for those of you in uh, uh, on the third floor of the Toronto Western Hospital that Dr. Kennedy will, after his presentation today, be taking questions here. He will then go upstairs to the third floor and answer questions for you up there. So we apologize we couldn't get everybody in the room, but I think that will help accommodate everybody's interest. So my first uh, uh, privilege is to introduce uh, uh, Kathy Zabo. Uh, there isn't anything that happens at the Western that Kathy isn't involved in, basically. She's the Executive Director uh, of Administration here, and Kathy, please uh, bring a greetings on behalf of the Western. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tennis. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to welcome you here tonight to the Toronto Western Hospital and the University Health Network. For over 110 years, the Toronto Western has been an important institution in our community, serving the health care needs of our culturally diverse patients and families. From the early days as a public dispensary and 30-bed hospital to our present state-of-the-art facilities, we're constantly pushing the boundaries of research, offering pioneering treatments and using state-of-the-art technology to provide excellence in care. We have one of the largest psychiatry departments in Toronto and excel at providing community-based mental health as well as highly specialized psychiatry services that you'll hear more about tonight. It is this rich environment of learning and searching for answers that helps shape UHN's long list of accomplishments and contributes not only to changing the lives of those in our community, but in fact the world. It was here that the world's understanding of Alzheimer's was advanced through the work of Dr. Peter St. George Hislop. It was here that Dr. Michael Failing's team of researchers found promising results for the repair of injured spinal cords. And of course, it was here that Dr. Sid Kennedy and Dr. Andres Lozano brought hope to millions worldwide through deep brain stimulation for treatment-resistant depression. While medical breakthroughs such as this are notable milestones that truly have global impact, it's the remarkable team of healthcare professionals every day that impact the lives of our patients and families. We're home to some of the greatest research and medical minds in the world, and it's our commitment to exemplary care, together with our leadership in research that sets us apart. I extend my sincere congratulations to Dr. Kennedy, Lozano, and their colleagues on this exciting new innovation that's revolutionizing how patients are treated and brings new hope to those living with debilitating diseases. I'm proud to be part of Toronto Western and the University Health Network, and on behalf of our staff, clinicians, and researchers, I welcome you. Thank you for joining us and sharing in this celebration of innovation, and please enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, I want to also um, thank Jennifer Simon and Jennifer Spears for organizing this evening for us. Um, they are the people who have handled all the arrangements and they work directly with another colleague, uh, Pearl Venema, I'm going to invite to come up. Pearl is Vice President of our Foundation and all of those programs uh, report to Pearl that are involved in any of our fundraising programs. So uh, my delight to invite Pearl to introduce Dr. Kennedy.
Thank you, Tennis. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a real privilege and an honor uh, for me to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Sid Kennedy. Dr. Kennedy is the psychiatrist in chief at University Health Network and is world renowned for his research in psychiatry, mood disorders, and depression. Uh, we have prepared for you in your uh, presentation materials uh, for you to take home uh, a number of articles, but as well, we provided you with a biography uh, so that you could learn a little bit more about uh, Dr. Kennedy. He obtained his medical degree from Queen's University in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and came to Canada in the early 1980s. Not long after that, he joined Toronto General Hospital. And in the mid-1990s, he was appointed division head at the Clark Institute of Psychiatry, and the institute, as most of you uh, now know, has been renamed as the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. And Dr. Kennedy served as director of clinical research until 2002, when he was appointed psychiatrist-in-chief at UHN. In 2005, Dr. Kennedy's uh, collaboration with uh, neurosurgeon Dr. Andre Lozano on the possible use of deep brain stimulation for patients suffering with severe disease was published. And this has captured widespread media attention most recently on the CBS show 60 Minutes. And as you will hear today, Dr. Kennedy is a superb clinician, researcher, educator, one who is well admired by his patients, a, a number of them in the room today, and he has also received numerous awards from his peer group. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Sid Kennedy.